Hi everyone, I wanted to share a video with you today using Jane Davenport's portrait paints. And so they come in a set of four and the two paler tones that are, that look like flesh tones in the bottle, I'm using the deeper of those two right now. And I'm also working in her nine by 12 canvas journal. So this is one of her mermaid markers, and this is how I'm going to deepen that skin tone. The color is Reef, it's a really nice deep brown, so I just dropped one drop in there, and a little bit goes a long way. And now I'm gonna add another drop be able to see the difference there and then to warm up the skin tone but keep it deeper I added two drops of pirate's gold which is a very vibrant yellow in the mermaid markers and this is deep sea and it's a violet color very very deep so this would be for a deep skin tone that has sort of a, a purplish look to it. Now I'm using one of her acrylic paints. This is the lightest of the set, and this is one of the flesh tones. So that's one drop of coral from the mermaid marker. and two drops of Beach, and Beach is the mermaid marker that I use most for a paler flesh tone when I'm just doing watercolor type work. It's the one that looks the closest to a real life flesh tone. So now I'm just playing around, I'm using the napkin on the left that she has in her collage paper set. I wanted to play around with some faces and I'm using one of her magic wand colored pencils. This one is in the color called Feather. And I really liked how she did her faces in different poses and kind of some looking off to the side, one looking down, one looking up. It's pretty similar to her Beautiful Faces book if you're familiar with that. And this gives you an idea too of how well the magic wands work over her acrylic paint. And I think it's just a really fun exercise too. So I started out a painting of Frida Kahlo. I'm, it's still in the works, but I wanted to show you a technique that I learned from Dina Wakely as far as skin tones. mixing some more of Jane's acrylic paints to get what I thought was a pretty accurate color for uh, Frida's skin tone just looking at pictures. So I believe I used the darker of the two flesh tones and then I added reef and coral and what Dina Wickley does in her faces video is she does her undertones first and so she'll put a deeper shade down and what I was finding with, with Jane's paints and I don't know if this is true of all acrylic paints but as I let it dry it deepened just a little bit so now I'm adding another drop of her uh, paler flesh tone and see how the transparency of just one layer of acrylic paint will let that undercoat show through. So this is a really fun way to add some depth and interest to the face and it looks realistic because when you think about it in real life faces don't look one uniform color. They have different 
lights and shadows and tones to them. And now I'm adding another paint from Jane's set of portraits. And this, it looks pretty orangey on film, but from the bottle it looks like a deep peach color. And I wanted to do this to warm up Frida's face because at least in pictures, she definitely looks like she would have had sort of a medium skin tone with um, deep, warm undertones. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you'll join me for the next video. I'm going to be uploading the complete Frida Kahlo painting soon. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.